Hey guys, what's up? Panda Ride 779 here. And this video is going to be live, not edited. And I'm just going to demonstrate the, um, <coughs> sorry. Um, okay, I'm going to have to make There you go. Okay, should be better now. All right. So I'm going to demonstrate the uh, frequency separation technique in Affinity Photo. You can do, do the same thing in Photoshop, but Photoshop doesn't really have the, uh, doesn't have the uh, macro for it, the uh, option like this. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. So we go up to filters, click on uh, frequency separation, click on that. Two screens will pop up. Left side is a high frequency and the right side is low frequency. Basically what you're doing is you're separating the texture from the uh, from the color. Well, I would say, yeah, from the color. And at the bottom right corner, you would want to adjust the tolerances and the radius so that the detail, well, not like that, so that the detail on the low frequency side is just out of focus, as in, like, watch. Right now it's really in focus. Everything's in detail, but you just want to blur it just enough so that you barely could see that. Like there, right here. So about 3.7 pixels. Or 3.5. About 3.7, 3.5. Apply that, and now you have two layers. High frequency, low frequency. Uh, normally I would start out in the low frequency, and what you want to do is use the inping tool. Some people use the, um, how was it called, the patch tool, but I normally use the in painting tool. And you use the in painting tool and click on all these uh, acne spots and blemishes that you don't want in the photo. And if you can see, you you're, you're just changing, you're just changing the color without harming the uh, texture beneath. Do, do, do. Oh, okay. Increase the size here. Bam. Get out of here, Macne. Get out of here. And there's a bad spot right there. Then, oh. Get out of here. Oh, that's, uh, that's some texture right there. Do, 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 do. Mm. Okay, that's more texture. Basically just making everything one color. Processing. Okay. All right. So there you go. So now that everything is one color. Oh, well, what you could also do is um, I forgot to do this. Uh, where is the select tool? Freehand selection. What you could also do is um, take big chunks in the low frequency layer, of course, and then blur them. Blur brush. You probably want the hardness something up, right? This to be pretty low. Just, just a little bit. You just want the colors to be the same, or you just want to blend in the colors in the low frequency. In the low. Okay. Now uh, well, that's taken care of. We now go to the high frequency layer. And if you see their texture, those texture spots are from the uh, acne before. So we'll use the in-painting tool again to um, eliminate the spots. Like this one, uh, this one right here, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. 
you want to do is make all the textures uniform as possible. And now it's just like, man, you gotta have that time where you just like disconnect from the scene. Oh, <laughs> and this little piece of dirt on my screen. And it's a race I've created in my head. Yeah, I gotta like move it up and down just so I can see that piece of dirt. Oh, that's too much. That's too much too. There you go, she's looking a lot more clear now. <laughs> and from here on, I would probably, um, if I, I was actually working on this photo, I would probably make another layer. Ah, new pixel layer. Move it to the top. Call it lights or highlight. Oh, sorry. Go to, um, I would say, dodge. And then increase the size a little bit. You want the opacity to be pretty low. Flow good. That should be good. Midtone's good. Okay. And then just dodge. Dodge little areas out. Actually, what you have to do is this. Oh. <laughs> we don't want that. Well, I guess you can't dodge this layer. Uh, I want it to sample all layers. Hmm. Interesting. Well, you guess you gotta do it in uh, low frequency. So, we go to low frequency and we dodge little areas, make it a little brighter. There you go. That's looking great. I don't want to work on it anymore. Don't want to make it look fake. But yeah, that's your frequency separation tool. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something from Affinity Photo. This is going to be my program that's replacing Photoshop because it's a lot cheaper. Um, and I'm slowly learning how to do everything on um, on Affinity Photo. Um, so far, I just demonstrated to you how good how how easy it is to use a high frequency and low frequency tool in uh, affinity photo um all right thanks for watching and if you guys get the chance please follow my page at www.pandaride779.com and um uh, shoot me a like thanks bye um video